Mapagpalang araw po sa ating lahat ng mga mananampalataya. Tayo ay nagsasagawa ng mga online mass alinsunod sa kautusan ng pamahalaan na bawal muna ang mga pampublikong pagtitipon upang mapigilan ang pagkalat ng sakit na coronavirus disease 2019. Upang maisagawa ang banal na misa ng taimtim at mas makabuluhan, narito ang ilang mga paalala. Unahin ang Diyos. Magtakda ng oras para sa banal na misa at wag lamang umasa na magkakaroon tayo ng libreng oras. Kinakailangan na paglaanan talaga ito ng panahon. Itigil ang mga pinagkakaabalahan at gawing sentro ng atensyon ang Panginoon sa banal na misa. Maghanda ng lugar dalanginan. Ihanda ang lugar kung saan makikiisa sa live stream ng banal na misa. Siguruhin na ang lugar ay tahimik at walang ibang makagugulo sa inyong atensyon. Makatutulong din ang paglalagay ng munting altar at pagsisindi ng mga kandila. Ihanda ang pangatawan. Ihanda ang pisikal na pangatawan sa pakikiisa sa online mass. Magbihis ng tama at maglinis ng katawan dahil ito ay makatutulong upang mas maging buhay ang diwa ng pakikiisa sa misa at mga panalangin. Tandaan rin na gawin ang mga angkop na hand gestures sa banal na misa. Makilahok. Huwag gumawa ng ibang mga gawain maliban sa pakikisa sa banal na misa. I-turn off o isara ang mga application sa cellphone o computer, lalo na ang mga instant messaging na makagugulo sa inyong atensyon. Huwag ding sabayan ng mga gawaing bahay ang pakikisa sa online mass. Gayunman, para sa mga ilang matitinding pangailangan tulad ng pangalaga sa mga sanggol o sa mga matatanda, maaaring ipos o itigil sandali ang broadcast ng banal na misa, subalit tiyaking babalikan ito kaagad. Espiritual na pakikinabang 
Bagamat hindi makapakikinabang sa banal na komunyon, maaring magsagawa ng espiritual na pakikinabang o spiritual communion. Isang panukala ay ang panalangin ni San Alfonso Ligori. Kalakip nito ang bukal sa puso at taimtim na panalangin. Panginoong Hesus, ako ay naniniwala na ikaw ay nasa kabanal-banalang sakramento. Tinatanggap kita ng higit sa lahat at ninanasa kong tanggapin ka sa aking kaluluwa. Sapagkat sa sandaling ito ay hindi kita matatanggap sa sakramento, tumuloy ka sa espiritu sa aking puso. Niyayakap kita na para bagang naririto ka na at iniaalay ko ng buong buo ang aking sarili sa iyo. Huwag mong hayaang mawalay ako sa iyo. Amen. Muli po ang pagkakansela ng mga pampublikong pagdiriwang ng banal na misa ay isang mahalagang hakbang upang mapigilan ang pagkalat ng COVID-19. Ito rin ay pakikibahagi natin sa mga kapatid nating kristyano sa buong mundo na walang kakayahan o kalayaan na magdiwang ng banal na misa. Naway magdasal at makibahagi tayo sa mga live stream mass bilang isang sambayan ng kristyano upang mapuksa ang salot na COVID-19 at sa gayon ay agarang maibalik ang mga banal na gawain sa publiko ng walang pangamba. Mapagpalang araw po sa lahat ng mga nakikiisa sa ating banal na misa ngayon pong araw ng Webes. Atin pong ipinapanalangin sa ating banal na misa ngayong umaga ang lahat ng mga kahilingan at personal na intensyon ng mga nakikiisa sa atin. Gayon din po ang kagalingan para sa lahat ng mga may sakit, ang kapayapaan para sa kaluluwa ng mga yumao at panalangin na agad na matuklasan ang lunas sa sakit na COVID-19 na lumalaganap sa buong mundo. Ang mauuna po sa ating pagdiriwang ay si Bishop Onesto Ongtioko. Magsitayo po ang lahat. of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the memorial feast of St. Barnabas. He was a companion of Paul. Like St. Barnabas, we too are sent. To be sent is to be an apostle. To be sent is to proclaim the good news that has been shared with us, the news that gives hope 
eternal life to all. Not much is known about St. Barnabas, and yet we could see it was his passion, his commitment to the gospel that brought many people to Jesus, to the Christian faith. Dear friends, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who decreed that St. Barnabas, a man filled with faith and the Holy Spirit, should be set apart to convert the nations, grant that the gospel of Christ, which he strenuously preached, may be faithfully proclaimed by word and by deed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in firmness of heart. For he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. And the large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul. And when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch for a whole year. They met with the church and taught a large number of people. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. Now there was in the church at Antioch prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Menaean, who was a close friend of Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord in fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul, for the work to which I have called them. Then, completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands on them and sent them off. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has revealed to the nations His saving power. The Lord has revealed to the nations His saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for Him, His holy arm. The Lord has revealed to the nations His saving power. The Lord has made His salvation known. In the sight of the nations, He has revealed His justice. He has remembered His kindness and His faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed to the nations His saving power. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord has revealed to the nations His saving power. Sing praise to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and melodious song. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, Sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. The Lord has revealed to the nations His saving power. Alleluia. I 
give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and the Pharisees, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, You shall not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment, and whoever says to his brother, Raka, will be answerable to the Sadhidrin, and whoever says, You fool, will be liable to Feregeneha. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar, and they recall that your brother has anything against you, leave your gift there at the altar. Go first and be reconciled with your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Settle with your opponent quickly while on the way to the court with him. Otherwise, your opponent will hand you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the guard, and you will be thrown into prison. Amen, I say to you, you will not be released until you pay paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, sisters and brothers. Good morning. About today's gospel reading, um, two reminders are called for. The first one is this. Jesus does not condemn the feeling of anger. No? For this is a spontaneous reaction which we cannot prevent from happening. No? Ang, ang galit ay kailangan hindi natin mapipigilan na maramdaman natin. Minsan nagugulat na lang tayo at nagtatanong tayo sa ating sarili, bakit nga ako nagagalit kanina? So hindi, we, there's no way we can prevent it from happening. Now what, he, what Jesus condemns is the acting out of anger with, with harsh words, scornful attitudes, insults, no? kapag tayo nagmumura, at nananakit na tayo ng ating kapwa. In other words, Jesus advocates here a, a non-violent approach in solving conflicts. Now, the second, <clears throat> the second reminder called for this, uh, called for is this one. Non-violence or peacemaking is not something which is desirable only at the international level sa bansa or between countries it will never reach that level no alalahanin natin na hindi kailanman aabot yan sa level na yon kung hindi ito nagsisimula in a much more modest level in our <clears throat> personal lives kaya nga po tunay na tutuo at nag, nagbibigay ng katotohanan yung uh, very popular song na um, Let there be peace on earth and let it begin with me. So, the goal of peace on earth will not come easily or without some personal pain. But the effort ang ating pagsusumikap, pagsisikap 
na gumawa ng kapayapaan at isabuhay ang kapayapaan sa ating pamamahay, sa ating tahanan, sa ating personal na pakikipag-ugnayan o kahit sa ating mga trabaho ay nagbibigay ng laman, nagbibigay ng buto sa ating mga panalangin para sa kapayapaan. So, if we are unwilling, always remember this, if we are unwilling to work to help peace break out in our homes and in our lives, then why should we be surprised that our prayers for peace seem to go unheard by God? Kung sa personal natin na pamumuhay, ayaw nating isang buhay, ayaw nating umpisahan. So, um, I remember uh, the words of a, um, an under- archbishop. He says, I believe that peace starts simply and humbly in the hearts of each of us. It starts at home. Simple things such as listening care respectfully to those who disagree with you in your family or as simply as teaching children not to hip when they're angry such actions seemingly small maaring napakaliit lamang at insignificant para sa ating pananaw but these actions these these are the actions that become the social context that frames our lives if we live peace we will have peace and more fundamentally still if we think peace we will have peace let us pray then that god will transform each of us by his grace into men and women of peace Let us pray to God the Father who wants all persons to be saved and to come to the knowledge of truth. Let our response be, May your reign be on us, O Lord. May your reign be on us, us, O Lord, Lord. that the Holy Spirit may guide the Pope, the bishops, and priests in promoting the cause of the mission. Let us pray to the Lord. May May your your reign reign be on on us, O Lord. Lord. That missionaries may proclaim Christ to the world, not by the power or prestige, but by humble service. Let us pray to the Lord. May May your your reign reign be be on on us, O Lord. Lord. That love of God and neighbor may inspire the lay faithful to collaborate in the missionary task of the church. Let us pray to the Lord. May, May your reign, reign be on, on us, O Lord. Lord. That Christians may realize the responsibility of spreading the good news of salvation to all. Let us pray to the Lord. May, May your reign, reign be, be on, on us, us O Lord. Lord. That young men and women may have the courage to answer the call of Christ and to serve in the missionary apostolate. Let us pray to the Lord. May May your reign reign be be on on us, us, O Lord. Lord. God our Father, it is your will that your kingdom be proclaimed and established everywhere. Through the intercession of St. Barnabas, grant fruitfulness to our missionary endeavor. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God, for gracious and good news of this part of the world. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual dream. God, we ask you to accept us. We give you the Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Sanctify with your blessing, we pray, O Lord, the offerings presented here so that by your grace they may set us on fire with the flame of your love by which saint barnabas brought the light of the gospel to the nations through christ our lord amen, amen. the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and every word to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord for you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching Therefore, now and for ages and ending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willing to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. A similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim, we proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess your, your resurrection until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name, name thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy, thy will, will be done, done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory, glory are yours, now, now and forever. forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. We now have the opportunity to receive spiritual communion. 
my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. As we receive the pledge of eternal life, we humbly implore you, Lord, that what we celebrate in sacramental signs on the memorial of the blessed apostle Barnabas, we may one day behold unveiled through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now pray the Horatio Imperata. God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need we implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears grant all these through our lord jesus christ 
your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Calunzon, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Kasama po sila Father Mike, si Father Sebi at si Father Jello at si Reverend JP Catilogo. Tayo po ay uh, inaaniyahan yung ating mga uh, followers sa Facebook, uh, Instagram at uh, Twitter at sa ating YouTube channel para po sa ating mga online uh, activities at sa ating pong programa mamayang gabi na Hello Father 911. Mula po sa Social Communications Ministry ng Diocese of Cubao, kasama ko si Philip Rufino. Ako po si Leanna Villajos. Magandang araw.